Okay. It was calling to say. Okay, so I just want to let you know that I'm recording what you're saying, okay? So go ahead. Okay. Okay, you're welcome to record what we are saying. Mm -hmm. We were calling to see why you hadn't showed up for Saturday because we had been told that you were supposed to show up for Saturday by a dispatcher. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. That was what I was told. Okay. So I was calling to make sure that you were okay because you, along with a couple other people, did not show up. Due okay, to the fact that but, we have a new parking lot. But you, so, so your name is Kay, correct? Finish. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Please let me just get my point across. The only reason why we were calling was to see why you hadn't shown up. Mm -hmm. Now that you let me know that my dispatchers did not convey to me to you that I had intended to have you work on the Saturday instead, mm -hmm. it's on my dispatchers. Do you mean Sunday now, instead? I'm sorry? Do you mean Sunday instead? Because you said Saturday instead. Right, because I was reading the message. The message mm -hmm. said for you to come so, in on Sunday. So can I ask you a question, please? If this is a conversation, correct? Okay. So my question is, um, did you send me an email which says, as for schedule, we do require one weekend day each week. So for this week, I was going to have you train on Thursday and Friday, have Saturday off, and then drive on Sunday. Did you send me a message that has your name K at the end of that? Yes. Yes, so I'm looking at that right here. And also, it says that I was going to train on Friday. Is that correct? Yes. And I didn't train on Friday. I worked on Friday, correct? Yes, but okay. that was technically I... considered a training day for purposes if you want to record it. That's still okay. considered training. Okay, fine. I, I just want to make sure because I'm a little bit confused and I'm worried about being fired for um, strange reasons. So that's all. Okay, but the way that you are speaking is would be considered disrespectful when someone is just trying to call and clarify mm -hmm. something with you. Well, I'm, I saw I'm your sorry. email. Let me finish, mm -hmm. please. Sure, I ahead. saw your email this morning saying that you didn't want to work on Sundays. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that email and then I saw that you didn't show up, I thought that my dispatchers had spoken to you about coming in today because I do not have you on tomorrow anymore because of that mm -hmm. email. So it was simply a miscommunication between the dispatchers and myself. This has nothing to do with you. Okay, I'm well, not calling to get you about no. you being in trouble. It is calling for clarification purposes. Okay, well, I do apologize, and I really didn't mean any disrespect when I said that you were lying. I only meant that you were lying. Okay, so that was incredibly disrespectful when I'm simply calling to ask about something. But you did so lie, is I, that correct? That's not a lie. I to asked say, you to clarify. That's, there's not a lie. Okay, I, I think I understand. Um, so I don't think you do understand. Okay. I don't understand why you think that I'm lying when I when I ask the question about the schedule. The schedule is subject to change. Okay. So when someone is calling to see why someone didn't show up because a dispatcher was was saying that you were going to come in on a Saturday. Can I have your boss's phone number? Excuse me. Can I have your boss's you know, phone you number? You actually don't have to ask for my boss's phone number. I would, I, mean, I would like he would to. Love to talk to you. I would like Paul, to. Paul, Paul, stay on the phone with me. Um, he was recording our conversation because I was asking why I thought he was coming in on a Saturday because he wanted Sundays off. So he's not in trouble. I'm not calling to yell at him or anything like that. Simply well, trying to I've been felt a little bit disrespected so myself. Here Paul, so here is Paul to talk to you. Hello? Hi, Paul. Um, yes? Um, I'm just a little bit uh, concerned about the way that uh, Kay is speaking to me and sort of like miscommunicating some things to me and I feel a little bit worried that I'm taking a lot of flack for something that I'm just doing my best to try and uh, be there when I'm told to be there. Um, can you, is that something that I should expect to like be continuing going forward or is that not the way that you treat employees? Well, I don't know how you're being treated, but if you were scheduled to come in today and you did not come in. Well, see, I have, a, I have an email we, here. Call and we, and then we well, see, I have an email here, when I can send to you if you want, um, but it's it has Kay's name at the bottom of it, and it says, as for schedule, we do require one weekend day each week, so for this week, I was going to have you train on Thursday and Friday, have Saturday off, and then drive on Sunday, so I'm a little bit confused why she is now uh, expecting me to come in on, a, on the day that she told me personally that I would have off, so is that a common thing I should expect working here? It could we be. It could be. Oh, okay. So, will I be expected to come in on days that my boss tells me that I'm not expected to come in on? No, normally the schedule is set. Okay, is so there... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm.
Um, Sam, did someone talk to you yesterday about coming in today? No, they didn't. Did the dispatchers when you were at the thing? Okay. All right. So you're you're scheduled to, to come in on tomorrow. Yes, that's what I was told in the email, and that's the only thing that's been communicated to me. Good enough. Yeah. We'll so, see you tomorrow. Okay. Um, actually, can I ask a further question? Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the way that Kay was speaking to me. Is there anything I, that I can do if about that? Issue with, uh, then maybe this isn't going to be a good fit. She is the vice president of the company. No, I, I understand. And when she calls and talks to you, mm -hmm. she's the one in charge. No, I understand that, but she was claiming that I was being disrespectful, but I feel like that was just some sort of defensive maneuver because I felt she was being disrespectful to me, and I don't think that's really of any concern to you, and I'm a little bit worried about that. I'd just like an apology. If you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're concerned about that, then this wouldn't be a good fit for you. I'm just a little bit upset, and I don't even know if I feel comfortable being around her. I would just like an apology, that's all. If you're not comfortable being around her, we'll, we'll terminate the relationship, and we won't have you work for us. All right, all right. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, so your, your employment is terminated. Okay? My employment's terminated? Okay, well, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.